Hey uh, YouTube, what's up man? Uh, today I wanted to show you my new uh, Ultimate Survival uh, tablet. Uh, my last tablet broke, it fell off my uh, car seat and uh, so I got a new one. It's a Dell Venue 11 uh, with the gumdrop case. This is a very nice case. It was probably about was close to 70 bucks on Amazon so it definitely wasn't cheap but uh, I mean the last two years I've probably broke three different tablets, three different Windows tablets, or actually more than that, my kid broke two. So what I found out is that, you know, if you want a tablet to last, find a commercial tablet, like a Samsung Galaxy, or like this is a Dell Venue 11, it's a, a company that actually makes a super like, heavy rugged case for it, because all my other laptops, they were like, one was an Asus, one was a, a WinBook TW700, broke those, um, because they're just fragile, man. You, you drop them on the ground, they, they shatter in two seconds. So uh, this is my uh, new little toy. This is a cool, cool little case. It's very rugged. Um, cool thing here in the back. Magnet sits down. Uh, and um, one of the one of the negatives about this case is it doesn't allow you to actually hook up the Dell keyboard to it. But uh, I don't use that anyways. I don't, they actually have like an optional keyboard you can put in there. Um, but for me, like the the most important thing for me when I'm buying a Windows tablet is I need to actually have uh, a full-size uh, USB port like that is critical to me because um, and I'll show you in a few minutes when you're, when you're building a, a survival laptop or like a car computer um, you know you need to be able to actually plug in like USB peripherals and getting one of those little adapter cables I mean sometimes they don't even work so uh, that's most of my all most of my laptop or tablets have actually had a full-size USB so um, yeah, I did a lot of research on this thing, and uh, the battery lasts a long time. It's the uh, they they do make a couple of versions, of, different versions of this. It's this is the uh, the Atom version, but they think they make like a Core i3 and maybe i5. But I wanted something with like long battery life and that didn't get hot. Whereas I know those other laptops, they get this the other like i3 and i5 get really hot, and there's a fan that's always running in the background, which I didn't really want. So. Um, yeah, another thing about this case is that uh, I had to take off this little plastic sheet here um, because it kind of interfered with the actual sensitivity of the, of the keyboard. You know, it made it harder to touch things. But uh, so this thing is kind of like a all-in-one. Uh, you know, for me, it's a kind of like a survival laptop. Like I was saying, and it's it's. I, I lots of times I use this in my car. This is my car computer. Um, I mean, it allows me. I can, I can watch movies, play music. Uh, watch live TV. Uh, I can run my uh, STR, you know, which is a software defined radio, and uh, I can, it's a spectrum analyzer, so I can scan channels, ham channels, and radio stations, and do all every different kind of stuff. Um, it's a GPS, so I have an external USB GPS antenna. Um, what else is it? Uh, oh yeah, it's a ODP2 uh, scan tool, uh, so I can hook up my uh, you know, if I'm in my, my big uh, F-250 truck, I use it as like an ODP2 uh, connection tool. And I can actually scan and see all the gauges and stuff. And, but then when I'm in my, actually my old Bronco, I can actually run my, uh, the whole, my whole uh, EFI software. And I'll, I'll go through each, each phase of this thing and show you the different uh, things I can do with this thing. But it's pretty cool. I mean, it has enough power to run HDTV via USB stick, so, which is cool. So, all right, let me show you the different features of this thing. But yeah, pretty happy so far with it. You know, nice and powerful. and. Yeah, just make sure if you're gonna get if you want if you want a, a tablet that's gonna last, either be very careful with it, or find a commercial kind of maybe more like an HP or Dell or kind of like a name brand laptop or tablet so you can actually get like a ruggedized case. So just if you're gonna do this for outdoor use. So let me show you. I really like this case. It has a uh, that flip up thing on it. Um, so there actually is a full USB port on there, and that's like super critical. I'm gonna plug this in just so I have full juice. But the uh, power cables down here so I get that in here I can actually get most USB devices in there um, you know as is let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing on that side or move the camera over here a little bit yeah I'm actually an IT guy so I, I, I tweak out on this shit um, okay so I have like a little USB uh, extension thing here it makes it a little bit easier to get the things in and out so um, first I'm going to show you this is like a I, I actually do have a Bluetooth ODB um, 
onboard diagnostic connector. This is a USB one, and uh, I'll show you my car stuff first. So, I mean, I just basically plug this into the USB cable here. If I can get it in there. Rubber things in my way. There it goes. Here are the windows. Let's see. Alright. Where's my little tablet pen? So, for the ODP2, I use a ODP2 Auto Doctor. It's a paid version. It's also a free version, too. It's, pre it's pretty, I mean, it's not, I'm not going to go through all the features. You can go online and figure it all out, but it's pretty cool. I can scan my gauges and I can see stuff in real time. So, I can figure out problems. Um, I mean, I also have the same app on my Android phone, or a different app, but. So I can do all see with my Android phone. So that's not, I don't do that a lot with this, this tablet, but that's not really the main reason for it, but. All right, so that was the um, ODB2 connector. And then, so when I'm in the Bronco, unplug it, I'm sure to get this little key in here. All right, there we go. So when I'm on my Bronco, this is my holy uh, EFI software and so from here, I can actually totally like monitor my uh, EFI computer. I can reprogram it, change settings. Uh, I'm gonna do actually a more in-depth video of that, just because uh, I mean this. I mean I want to get more specific to Holly, and that would take me like about an hour. Or so um, I'll show you that in my next video. The uh, me actually messing with my uh, Holly software on the Windows tablet. That's another reason why I got a bigger Windows tablet. Is that when I run this, the smaller TW700 that I had before in the other other video, it was so tiny I couldn't see the screen correctly. So. Um, okay, get rid of that. Get rid of the auto doctor. And let me show you the. Uh, so, I'm going to show you my little uh, antenna here. Um, it's a little USB dongle I got on Amazon. A couple, like probably 10 bucks. Uh, it allows me to do it. It turns the. It's a little real tech chip in there, but um, it's basically it turns my tablet into a spectrum analyzer. So I can. It's almost like a ham radio or, or like a police scanner. I can scan all these different channels and frequencies, and um, so if you're out off-roading and or you're trying to survival and you're looking for you know like signals, I'll show you in a couple of seconds. But it makes it really easy to figure out like you know radio channels and signals. So um, I'll plug that in. Here's my antenna, and I don't know if that's going to work right off the bat or not. I might have to run that. It's mic detected. I don't know. We'll see. I might have to reconfigure the USB port again. But there we go. Yeah, this is called uh, SDR Sharp, and let me show you. I'm not gonna go into depth of that if you can. You can Google it. But so here's my little antenna. So you can see I can I can see the channels. So this is all. This also works with ham repeaters and ham radios and. You can, it, it's really, really cool. You can, I can like scan airplanes and I can track airplanes with this thing and it's pretty cool. So, uh, this would be useful like in a survival situation where you're trying to scan channels, right? Even though I have a, uh, I, mean, I have a little, like a little, like a bail thing, a uh, ham radio, but you know, if you're not going to be able to scan the channel and see like a, like a frequency and spectrum. But I can basically see a bunch of live channels, right? Where I wouldn't be able to see that with the uh, with the uh, bail thing. Okay. All right. Let's turn that off. And uh, okay. Unplug that little USB plug there. And. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's a Windows tablet, so you can play back movies and play music, so I won't even show you that. But uh, here's my little uh, GlobalSat um, little USB dongle, or I mean, it's a GPS dongle, and it's like 35 bucks on Amazon, too. But um, yeah, one thing that kind of bugs me is, I mean, just about every single Windows laptop I've ever, or tablet I've seen, doesn't come with a GPS adapter, whereas most Androids come with GPS. So, sort of annoying. But um, also, what I like in the previous version, like 8.1, um, Windows Map, Windows Maps now allows you to cache the map. You can download the map. So, I mean, a lot of the places I off-road in with my Bronco, I can't get an internet signal. So I need to, I can't download maps. So I needed a program that could actually cache and download the maps to my to my tablet. So um, that's nice. I mean, I don't know if 
Microsoft bought out here maps, but um, yeah, it's nice. So now I can actually download the maps, and it actually works my GPS. Let me show you. All right, there we go. Got that thing coming on, and let's see here, maps. Or let's M A P. And there we are. G to auto detect the GPS. That's, that's really nice. I, I live in Costa Mesa. So, um, not a mystery there. Um, so, yeah, that's cool. I mean, I can, I can cache the maps. And, uh, you know, nice when I go off roading now, I know internet signal. I can still track my uh, things. I can put in my favorite uh, camping spots on there. And, you know, like yellow post sites and different cool things. So, um, that's the maps. And uh, I guess the I left the most difficult thing for last, which is going to be the uh, live TV, because that's by far the most strenuous thing on this thing, because it has to decode live or HD TV. So, so what I have here is uh, I'll have to take this off. Um, give me one second. All right. Okay, so uh, I do actually have a few different antennas. Uh, sorry, my house is a mess. You know, if you, I have kids, so I mean, there's freaking toys everywhere at all times. Um, so I have a few different antennas I, I use. Um, this is the one that came with the device, the HP uh, USB dongle I have here. Then I have this one right here. Um, that works so so, but then, uh, then I have this thing up here in the window just as a test. And it's running down along. And here's the USB dongle. I've had this for probably five years, but the cool thing by the by itself, it, it, it if you're in an open room, I mean, like open air, it works pretty good. But with this cable, if you see this right here, I'm gonna plug this dongle here in a couple seconds. But it comes around, and this right here is an amplifier. It's a USB power. It's actually going into my computer right now. Uh, but normally I could plug it into an external source or I don't think I could probably power it off the tablet I probably would want to do that I mean I'm sure I could find a way to do that but um, yeah I don't know but um, yeah this is actually this is an amplifier so it gives me like a 10 uh, dB gain on that uh, antenna over there so pretty cool and let me plug this in and put the uh, camera back on here all right go you can see that turn that over a little bit all right so this is the thing I, I we'll see if it works <laughs> all right huh. oh, didn't want to come on there let's see here Well, the app that I use is called, I don't know if it's called Sickbo PBR or Psych, I don't know, it's this one right here. There it goes. All right. And it's called, I, I, it's S-I-C-H-B-O it's PBR. So I don't know if they, a, a Sickbo or what the? All right. All right, so that's full HD TV live TV playback. This is a uh, channel four. I'm in uh, Southern California, so this is like Los Angeles, and uh, pretty cool. So if I'm camping, I'm high enough, I can watch live TV, or if I'm at the beach, I can watch live TV, or in my car, if I'm driving on the street, I can be watching live TV if I want to, you know. Um, so pretty cool. I mean, one little laptop, you know, does all these different functions. You know, I have, you know. Engine monitoring capabilities, GPS, offline maps. I have a spectrum analyzer, so I can, you know, you know, check out ham radio and some kind of survival, and um, you know, listen to FM radio. So it's an FM radio. Um, live TV. I can play back movies, music. So pretty cool. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool tablet, you know. And, I mean, this is by far the most strenuous thing, you know, playing back HGTV, so, um, 
Yeah, that requires, like um, on the TW700 I had, the Winbook, that thing just struggled. It couldn't even handle the... I mean, it had one gig of RAM and, you know, it, it had an Atom processor, but... Okay, man, well, let me have any questions. All right, thanks. I almost forgot. Um, quick update here. So, um, so, what you have here, what I have here is a solar panel, and uh, when I actually had the solar panel connected to the tablet, I can actually watch TV all day long, let's say if I'm fishing or hiking around. I also actually have a backpack, a hiking backpack, with a solar charger in the back of it, like a USB solar charger, so you can charge phones and, uh, you know, tablets and stuff. But yeah, with the tablet, with the thing on the, on a full charge, I mean, this thing basically runs the whole day, you know, doing whatever, watching TV, listening to radio, you know, whatever. So, going on the internet. Cool? All right.